Hello, my dear students. Once again, I give you calf welcome to my channel Zetel. Uh, today, my topic is quite different. My topic today is dramatic and poetic career of Shakespeare. Dramatic and poetic career of Shakespeare. It is believed that Shakespeare has written 37 plays in all. Though the authenticity of his plays is still doubtful. Honestly speaking, Shakespeare's dramatic career has been divided into four different phases. Four different phases. And his activity as the writer for the stage, you know, extends over some 24 years, 24 years, from 1588 to 1612, 1588 to 1612, this covers the period of 24 years. And the term of 24 years equally runs into two centuries. 12 years of it belongs to the last years of the 16th century. And rest of the 12 to the beginning of the 17th century. All these works of Shakespeare, you know, published in two folios. And the first folio of Shakespeare's work appeared in 1623, means Shakespeare died in 1616. After the seven years of his death, the first folio appeared before us now. And there were some colleagues of Shakespeare. Uh, well, I would like to mention the name of two persons, John Hamminges and Henry Condell. They were the colleagues of Shakespeare and they compiled, after the death of Shakespeare, they compiled the works of Shakespeare. And they decided to publish it. Well, the first folio appeared, as I told you, in 1623. And, you know, John Hamminges and Henry Condell, they were the editors of the first folio. Editors. And publishers were the different people. Means, among the publishers, uh, it was uh, Edward Blount, William Jagger, and his son, Isaac Jagger. So when it was published, Edward Blount's name, William Jagger's name, and Isaac Jagger's name, and even the name of Shakespeare was included in it. 
though Shakespeare was dead. And the title was very interesting. Must remember the name of the title. Sometimes this question is asked. The title of the first folio was Mr. William Shakespeare. Mr. William Shakespeare's comedies, histories and tragedies. Mr. William Shakespeare's comedies, his histories and tragedies. This was the title. And the preface, very interesting, uh, just keep in your mind. Uh, the preface of this first folio was written by Ben Johnson. Ben Johnson, you know, was uh, one of the greatest uh, playwrights of the Jacobian age. He was friend to Shakespeare. He wrote the preface. And in that preface, he praises Shakespeare a lot. He pays his glorious tribute to Shakespeare. And you remember those epithets which he has used in the preface of uh, to the first folio. What he says in that preface, paying tribute to Shakespeare, he says, Shakespeare was the soul of the age. Remember it. Shakespeare was the soul of the age. The applause, the delight. What a beautiful uh, adjective and epithet he uses. He says, the wonder of our stage. Shakespeare was the wonder of our stage. Keep every epithet in your mind. And he also says in the same preface, thou star of poets. Means Shakespeare was a star of poets. As Thomas Gray in his progress of poesy paying tribute to Shakespeare says nature's darling. Matthew Arnold pays tribute to Shakespeare uh, in his sonnet Shakespeare and says others abide our questions. Thou art free. Thou art free. Shakespeare was such a great personality. And this Ben Johnson speaks very memorable sentence in the same preface. And this question is several times asked in different competitive examination. And what he says? He says, Shakespeare was not of an age, but for all time. No doubt, whatever Shakespeare has said was right, is right, and it will be right in times to come. Now, coming to the first folio, the publisher, uh, William Jagger it died in the same year. Keep it in your mind. You know. he, William Jagger died in 1623 after the publication. Now the responsibility comes on the shoulders of his son Isaac Jagger. Hamingus Condal Isaac Jack, Jagger, they were the major figures. But in 1627, in the month of November, Isaac Jagger also dies. Now, three persons were left. Edward Blount and uh, John Hanninges 
and Henry Kondo. Unfortunately, you know, as I told you, Isaac dies in November 1627. And Henry Condell also dies in the month of December in 1627. So, now, two important questions were left. Hemingges and Edward Bront. Hemingges also dies in 1630. Now, the whole copy was in the hands of Edward Blount. Edward Blount, what does he do? He sold this first folio, this copy, to Robert Allot in 1630. In 1630, he sold this copy to Robert Allot. And Robert Allot now became the master of that particular copy. This man, Edward Blount, dies in 1632. It's very interesting. No? When he dies in 1632, Robert Allot and two major partners of the first folio, uh, William Astley and John Ismatic, they join. They join. Why? Because William Astley had the copyright of Shakespeare's much ado about nothing and Henry IV part two. He had copyright of the, these two plays. And the, another one, John Smith, he had copyright of Love's Labor Lost, Romeo and Juliet, Taming of the Shrew, and Hamlet. So now Robert Allot, William Asplay, John Smith. These three were joined by two persons. And one was Richard Hawkins. Why? Because this Richard Hawkins had the copyright of Shakespeare's Othello. And another man whose name was Richard Mann. Richard Mann had the copyright of Shakespeare's The Mary Wives of Windsor. So, Robert Allot, William Asplay, John Ismatic, Richard Hawkins, and Richard Mahan, along with Thomas Coates, published the second folio of Shakespeare's plays in 1632. The first was published in 1623 and the second was published in 1632, just reverse of 23, 32. Keep it in your mind. 
Okay, this is very important thing which I told you. Now coming to the dramatic career of Shakespeare. As I told you, the critics, the writers and the scholars have divided Shakespeare's dramatic career into four phases. The first phase, it may, where I, the first phase is from 1588 to 1594. And they named it in the workshop. In the workshop. And the second phase, 1595 to 1600, in the world. They named it in the world. And the third phase, 1601 to 1608. This is called out of Debt. And the next one is from 1688 to 1600. I mean, uh, 12, that is called 1608 to 1612, that is called on the heights. 1608, not 88. 1608 to 1612 on the in the first phase of his dramatic career, actually, Shakespeare wrote some comedies and histories. He glorified the kings of England, monarchs of England, who ruled between 1377 and 1485. 1377 means from 14th century to the 15th century. The monarchs who ruled over England, actually he glorified their personalities um, in their history plays. And he wrote some comedies, which I would like to explain in the next video. Be very careful about this uh, lecture, which I have given, a very short lecture that I have given to you. And some important questions are being asked. And before I bid goodbye to you people, I want my channel should be subscribed. Don't forget to subscribe my channel so that when I upload the next video, you get the message because this is, I mean, I have so far uh, released Shakespeare part 1, Shakespeare part 2, Shakespeare part 3, Shakespeare part 4. And now this is Shakespeare part 5 I am going to release. This series will be a longer one. But stay with us. Thank you very much. Thank you.